podcast is brought to you by Loot Crate Anime. Loot Crate has teamed up with Crunchyroll to bring you amazing toys, apparel, and other cool collectibles from your favorite anime and manga. To subscribe, just go to lootcrate.com slash anime america and use the code anime america to get three dollars off your first subscription. Welcome to Anime America, episode 11. Today, it's just me and Tara. We're alone. It's just us. <laughs> lonely, we are so lonely. <laughs> Shannon left us to care for this podcast. Everybody's out on boats or... Uh, well, I can't say what all... Okay, some of us are in California with our boyfriends, and others are on boats. Womp, womp, womp. We've been abandoned by everyone. Lark is busy getting his, uh... You know, they turned him into a slave where he works, because he works at an amusement park in Australia. And, uh, Christmas is peak time, because everyone's on vacation, so... No one's available! Except for us. <laughs> like, we have nothing else going on. Yeah. Aren't you so happy? Don't worry, we're going to make this a quick episode. So if you can tolerate us for a few minutes, <laughs> you can be on your way and watch it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the audience, they love us. You guys love us, right? <laughs> Click. That, that's a thousand people clicking to something else. <laughs> Stick around. It's going to be a little bit shorter because I know everyone's anxious for Christmas. Actually, by the time they hear this, it'll be the day after Christmas, won't it? Mm, yes. Yes, it will be. Because we've been, uh, we're releasing daily content now because of the new algorithms. Robin said, okay, we need to do have a video every day now because that's how the algorithms are working. What's good? <laughs> it's not terrible at segues. And now for the news. Enemy news. <laughs> what? That, that transition, though. That segue. So, Tara, what's in the world of anime news today that we might be interested in? Well, <laughs> there's a longer there's a longer trailer for the live action Ghost in the Shell movie. This is major. I'm on site. I'm going in. You are the first of your kind, but you're not invulnerable. Maybe next time you can design me better. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. I've been avoiding all of the live action Ghost in the Shell stuff because I just, I'm not a fan of Scarlett Johansson for that part. Okay, so have you seen Ghost in the Shell? I've not seen Ghost in the Shell, but I've seen images and clips of the source material without having actually watched it. And I just think that, I don't know, I just, I just feel like aesthetically it's not doing it justice. Why do you say that? I don't think Scarlett Johansson looks the part enough. Why, because she's not tall enough? You got something against short people? Because she's not an actual android. Oh, 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 we're supposed to hire Android to play Android parts? 
Look at them human washing this film. <laughs> what? I feel like, is it species exist? What? What is it if you're racist against androids? Right? Android? I have no idea what you would even call that. Stupid, I, because androids aren't a thing. So, okay, so... So it's not an issue that you don't like Scarlett Johansson for the part, it's that no, you want a robot to play it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Some people might exactly. say that her acting is robotic. Oh. I wouldn't say that. I like Scarlett Johansson enough as an actress, just not necessarily for this part. And not in Lucy either, but that's a whole other can of worms. Oh, wait, no, there's a one sh that she did where she played an AI called Her, I think it's called. Where the guy, like, gets with his computer? Yeah, she just does the voice. Oh, jeez. She, she was practicing for this role. <laughs> <laughs> just like, she started out in one movie that's, uh, for the otakus, and into another one. So, um, have you imagined someone else who would be better for the role? Not really. I'm not that invested. <laughs> I honestly think... <laughs> Welcome just... to Anime America, where we're <laughs> just not that invested. <laughs> we don't really care. <laughs> not, not me, personally, for Ghost in the Shell. Oh, okay. Well, I'm... I love anime. I just am not invested in Ghost in the Shell, particularly. I I, I do fan. think that um, on a more serious note, I think that they should have went with a Japanese actress. I just don't know who that would have been. Well, if, if this is a Hollywood production, so they and there are Japanese actresses in Hollywood. That is true. That's a good point. But just because the original story was. They, well, you know, even if you watch the anime, the people look like white people. You know, they don't, they're not made to look, uh, but it is, isn't it, doesn't it take place in Tokyo still? Man, I can't remember. Even if the characters look more westernized, it still takes place in Japan, and it's kind of under the assumption that they are Japanese. That's one thing that a lot of people will say, like, oh, these anime characters look so white, but they're not actually. Yeah. Like, it, it's more of a westernized Japanese person. So, well, actually, to be honest with you, I'd be, I'm happy either, well, my, I'm a huge fan of everything Ghost in the Shell. I've seen, I believe, everything that has come out, um... All the movies, the TV series, uh, se second gig, and then I think they even remade the original movie with some and threw in some CG, which was a little weird. But um, I'm a huge fan because when I what got me into anime, there's three movies that blew my mind and got me into anime. That was Akira, Ninja Scroll, and Ghost in the Shell. I remember. Uh, Back when we had uh, Napster, and it, it wasn't um, as... Back when it was kind of, sort of okay to download things, but not really. I downloaded every single episode of Ghost in the Shell second gig. I, I don't, I'm just... I, well, I was obsessed with it, I'm not still now. So I'm like geeking out a little bit. And I love Scarlett Johansson. And she kicks ass in the Marvel films. So I'm holding out. I'm not judging it either way. I'm. I'm well, I can't judge it until I see it either. Which I, as someone who hasn't previously seen Ghost in the Shell, I do intend to see this movie. Yes, you. I recommend anybody who likes. If if you have any kind of inkling towards action or sci-fi anime, you have to see Ghost in the Shell. It, it's very I, when I watch the shows, or the movies, or the TV series, uh, it inspires my imagination. I start thinking about okay, if I made a, uh, I love this idea, so if I made a movie on this, I would do this like that, and blah blah blah. Um, it's it's very 
detailed. They've done their research and it's very th well thought out as far as how the mechanics work and the science of it. It I, I don't want I can't I kind of I don't want to say I can't wait to watch it, but then if I'm honest, yeah, I can't wait to see it. Now, once again on the topic of disappointing Hollywood movies. <laughs> There's apparently going to be a Hollywood live action film of Naruto. Or N Naruto, as people who don't know call it. Naruto? <laughs> I When I first started watching Naruto, I called it Is Naruto. Is he the one that says Date Bayo? <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> Believe it. They're actually they're starting up with uh This is an article that I didn't actually pick out to talk about today. But in my research for uh today's lovely podcast episode, I came across an announcement for uh Boruto. It's like the the second generation basically. Boruto? Yeah. I believe that's Naruto's oh, son. Yeah, Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, is announced. It's an anime following Naruto and Hinata's son. Is an anime movie? No, an actual anime series. Oh, okay. So that it takes place in the... Naruto it's uh, announced for spring 2017. So is that including uh, a live action movie of Naruto? So there, there th there's a separate live action movie of Naruto. Well, yeah, I mean that's what I mean. So now that's but two different things, but they're linked. They're 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 close together. This um this Boruto Naruto Next Generations series is announced. To be broadcast in Japan in spring 2017, and this Hollywood live action film of Naruto. I, I'm not seeing a release date for it. Yeah, but probably. Do, but they're going into production and don't have a release date yet. Because they're going into production. Yes. Yeah, until you shoot it and you have it in in post production, you can't really tell when it's going to come out. You see, though, I, I really have I really have a lot of high hopes for this because right from the get go, it's it, it's being created by two screenwriters from Teen Titans. I go. was just going to say that <laughs> I'm reading that right now. That is how you know this is going to be top quality It has the screenwriters from Teen Titans go. And it also says Marvel Studios founder Avi Arad and his son Ari are credited as producers for the film. That's sort of promising because the Marvel movies were well done. Marvel they, is excellent. They translated from comic book to live action very well. Um, hmm. Okay, may maybe that's a maybe that's a saving grace. Maybe that's a redeeming quality. I just. I'm of the opinion that a lot of live action anime adaptations just don't work. Oh, I mean, yes. I love anime simply because most anime is designed and works perfectly within the anime medium, and it, it completely clashes when it becomes live action. Now, I've it seen. It doesn't I've, work. I've seen uh, some movies that came out of Hollywood recently that if the live action Naruto were done that way, it would be great. There's a. A couple of movies, um, I'm not sure if it was just called Ninja or Ninja Assassin. I don't think it was Ninja Assassin. Um, there's, there's been a couple of Hollywood Ninja movies that were um, just, I mean, I've, I've loved ninjas since I was a kid. I've watched the 80s, uh, even the terrible American Ninja movies. American Ninja 2, those were <laughs> terrible. But... Um, <laughs> I mean, that got me into kung fu movies, and kung fu movies are done right. Um, it, but recently, um, I've seen a lot of well-done, uh, I don't know, ninja and kung fu movies using 
Hollywood special effects and quality combined with uh, actual professional real martial arts. So I think I, I have, I'm not going to be negative on it. I think it has a chance. Uh, I'll keep my, I'll keep my opinion until I see it. I'm, you can't, you can't judge something that's not released yet. I just am not necessarily of the highest hopes. I will tell you though, the teen, um, I even watched Teen Titans. And the original Teen Titans was phenomenal. And oh. then Teen Titans Go is just not... It, it just it does not live up to the original Teen Titans at all. It's just kind of an OMG so random yeah. kind of... And they're, they're pretty self-deprecating now, apparently, yes. in recent episodes. Which... <laughs> Doesn't really make up for the fact that it is of the quality it is. Yeah. It's still well written and it's still good though. It's not as good as Teen, the original Teen Titans. That was uh, amazing. I just don't like Teen Titans Go. I mean there are so many better cartoons being produced now. Like within the U.S. Like, Steven Universe is oh, one of my all-time favorite shows. That's really uh, good. I love Steven Universe so much. And you Adventure would... <laughs> Time, Gravity Falls, Star oh, yeah. versus the Forces of Evil. I've, I've seen all those except Star versus the Forces of Evil. Star versus the Forces of Evil is really great, too. I highly recommend it. If you like the other cartoons I listed, I think it'll be up your alley. Mm -hmm. And Rick and Morty. I don't know if you watch Rick and Morty. <laughs> I've seen a little bit of Rick and Morty. I haven't seen enough of Rick and Morty, but <laughs> I, I I heard uh, Get Swifty. <laughs> yeah. I added some videos. I think on the last podcast we talked about that. Yeah, ca like adult cartoons like uh, Rick and Morty and Bob's Burgers is really high quality too. All right, so what is third? This okay. I, ooh. Our our third and last news article is something that's a little bit old. We uh, apparently overlooked it, but I think it's still worth talking about. Yeah, I there's actually enough, the last podcast I wanted to talk about this. There's an official release date for. The second season of Attack on Titan. Assuming that it doesn't get pushed Yay. back again. Because we've been told like two or three times now. That second season is going to be re released this time or this time. So let's hope that this one's actually accurate. But apparently the second season of Attack on Titan. That we've been waiting for since what? 2012? 2013? Something like that. It's set to... Air in April 2017. Right. Also, <laughs> Tag on Titan will also be getting its very own stage adaptation. <laughs> I think that a, I, th I think that a lot of anime are getting stage adaptations. Like I don't mind that. Like I've actually seen like Japanese anime musicals, hmm. and some of them are actually entertaining oh now like maybe it's not if there, like amazing yeah but. if there's naked people on stage pretending to be titans um <laughs> i don't think that there's legitimately going to be naked people <laughs> and it's not like the titans have anything anyway that is true they'd be wearing body suits i i went to a convention once where somebody walked around and they on stilts um and they constructed like, out of some kind of styrofoam, they made a, an Attack on Titan costume. That was a couple years ago. I think um, we even did a video special on it on Anime America. It seems so long ago now. And we've been waiting forever for a second season of Attack on Titan. I mean, it, it's a little bit overhyped, but I... I legitimately enjoyed it. And waiting so long to release the second season. 
it makes me think that they've been really considering long and hard about the quality of it. So and also where they're gonna go, um, you know, from you know, they did. It, it's hard to as as a writer. It's hard to when you write yourself. Sometimes you can write yourself into a corner, and they it, they got to a point where it was so awesome. The writers probably were taking their time to figure out uh, where to go from there, and then how to make a, a, a create a conclusion. But I, I can't wait. I love I love all three of these stories. Attack on Titan is awesome. It's just a it's a a, an amazing idea and it was well done like uh i love these what if ideas what if there were uh you know real life huge titan things that eat people and you know and there were humans what would what would you do what would happen but but then to add that oh also they're naked and they're stupid Running around like drunk pedophiles. It's hilarious. You heard it here first, folks. Titans are drunk pedophiles. <laughs> I don't know. Some of them look like the way they're smiling and the way they run around with their hands waving. It, it just looks like I'm here. And then You're I'm digging yourself a deeper hole, Brad. Oh, jeez. How much time? Did we fill almost 20 oh. minutes? Hey, we did a good job. I think we did a good job. <laughs> we can pilot this ship ourselves. All on our own. Shannon, if you're watching this, we're doing just fine. <laughs> we don't care about you anymore. No, we don't mean that. Come back, please. <laughs> oh. All right. I I, is that all that we want to talk about today? Um, Any updates for you? Some if some of you who care about the podcast may have noticed that we took a week off, um, but because that's because I'm putting out uh, videos. Robin gave me a crap ton of videos. I had three fan mail videos I had to work on, and she gave me a bunch of uh, hot topic anime news kind of things, so we could have daily content. So took a week off from the podcast, and we're coming back to say we're gonna take another week off. <laughs> for Christmas and New Year. But we hope to come back in January with, as I'm hoping, Shannon and Robin. I think by January, Robin will be off the boat and Shannon will be back from California unless she decides to stay there forever. So, <laughs> still a big question mark, but we should have more people. Uh, we sh I think we'll be back on a regular schedule in January, but we're taking a week off. Yep. I can't believe that um, you're, you're still on the show. Didn't you have finals and everything? Yes. I did have finals. How did that go? It's all over now. Did you win? <laughs> I beat did the I finals. win finals? Did I win the finals? <laughs> I passed, if that's what you mean. Yay. I won the finals, everybody. Yay. I did it. All right. I, I think that's a good note. Yes. Winning the finals and taking a week off. This has been episode 11 of Anime America Reboot. Yay. Thanks for listening, everybody. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>